wasn't Charles Gambino. It was at the uh, the Barclays Center where the Nets play, right? Yeah. And I did that, and I just fucking stepped up. But it was a different crowd, man. It was a sports crowd. I stepped up, I'm pissing, and I, I ripped ass. Just <laughs> loud <Huh>? toot. <laughs> loud Let it go. Toot. Let it go. And then just, I didn't look around, but nobody said anything. And I was just like, oh. Different crowd. All right. Different crowd. Billy just shook No high out. fives. Nobody high fived me. No, no emotional high fives either. I wanted to, I wanted to hear like one like nice dude. High five. By the way, high fives at the pissing trough is a, is a flex. <laughs> Young drunk. It's all right. You know, it's just about looking each other in the eyes. And saying, you got a friend in me. Mm. You got a friend in me. Quentin Tarantino doesn't like Toy Story 4. You got a friend in me. I heard that. Well, he... Well, he, he, he wait. He doesn't like he Toy thought, Story No, well, he just thought 3 was a perfect ending to a trilogy, a perfect trilogy. He just refuses to watch it. He doesn't dislike it. He hasn't seen it. It was good, man. No, 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 no. You, you, it was a you, story. you, you don't want It's not bad. I cried. You got Duke Kaboom. No, no, you I cried in three. Reed. I promise you, you cried in three, not four. Three I'm is... I'm lagging. I'm lagging. Three ends with, like, them all hugging each other, accepting they're going to perish. Die. When, but when, so when... Uh, What's his name? Woody. He leaves them. They're on top of the two vans, and and, leave, and he leaves That's them. The fourth one. Yeah. That's the yeah. Fourth one. That made oh, yeah. cry. That, that got me. Yeah, he's saying goodbye to his friends. What? what? They're making a fifth one. I bet they find each other. Yeah, <laughs> oh, they better stop after that. You can't break up a Woody fifth and Buzz. One. They're making a fifth Shrek. I couldn't tell you anything that happens after Shrek one. Well, making a- Shrek goes fourth, which is the name of the fourth, or at least it was at one point. Uh, he went back in time. Got to go back in time. What? Shrek went, went back in time? Yeah. He goes back in time to see what it what? would be like if he didn't have his family because he's like, oh, these kids and this wife and blah, 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 all this pressure. And so he goes back in time. Like he makes what a wish a of like what it would be like if he had never met them. And then it ends with him being like, oh, how could I live I without would... my babies, including Fergus? Yeah. So no he like very clearly, he very clearly has a favorite child, which is a bit Fergus. much for a Shrek movie. Because on the way home, that just sets up every parent and child for them to be like, so who's your favorite in our family? And what That's do you say? Who's the favorite is in my family. Who's the favorite? Uh, I know who the favorite is in, in our my family. Yeah, who? Depends what parent you're asking. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, we got, we got some interesting dynamics. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. You got to talk about it. I don't want to you got to get it. it out. I don't want to talk about it. I, I, there's this theory about films where either... Everything is Wizard of Oz or Citizen Kane. I just only really like two types of movies. One where a house falls on a lady mm-hmm. and exactly. one about sleds. There's either sleds or, or houses. That's it. There's, no, part of, right? there's only two types of movies. <laughs> Out Cold would be a sled movie. God, I love Out Cold. Underappreciated. Did somebody say King of the Mountain, Mountain, Mountain? I just watched the new movie right before we started this. I just finished it. Oh, good. Tell us about it. it. Let's do a segment called Cole's Corner, where... uh, Shit, that doesn't really work with the theme of film so much. All right, so it did... Cole's Cole's 30-second movie reviews. Uh, okay, the 30-second review is called Rebel Ridge. I think the name of it was. Hold it's, on. Uh, I'm going to time you. Cole we've, and the gang. We've done the 30-second review before, and I totally just butchered it. 
Ready? Give it a shot. Three second review. Go. Cole and the gang. Um, so it's an action movie. It's definitely Rambo coded. Um, he's in a, in a old Dixie race, racist town in the South. And I'm just going to get to the bottom of it. Cause I got probably 10 seconds left. It was good. <laughs> no name, I like, no title, I really, no cast. Rebel Ridge, Rebel Ridge. I'm going to give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10. Wow. I would highly recommend it. Who's another, another word about that movie? I don't know. I don't know any of the actors, and I don't know what it's rated on IMDb or whatever. Is this just uh, a generic Netflix movie? Yeah, I think it's just straight to Netflix. But, you know, I'm, you really got to trust me. Like, it's totally worth its salt. <laughs> In salt. No, how it's much good. Salt, how much salt? It's uh, worth it. Like yeah, 10. 10 salts? Ten salts. Ten salts. Ten salts. Yeah. I watched um, Kinds of Kindness. What a ridiculous fucking movie that was. Yeah, well, really different really- kinds of kindness. But Alien Romulus, pretty awesome. I've heard mixed reviews. I liked it. I mean, it's fucking... I it. um, I it. Here's my, re- my letterbox review was, In space, no one can hear you pay homage because it's just fucking relentless with... Easter eggs and callback, like lousy, like every line is from Alien or Aliens. I heard that the but first thirty minutes, pretty cool, do not set up the last part of the movie at all, and you think you're in for this great movie, and then it turns into an homageathon. And it's it an homageathon, luster for sure. But it's cool, it's unique, and it was is fun. I sat in a movie theater, enjoyed every minute. But here's the thing, too, I was thinking about is they don't make character actors anymore. Like I was watching like the movies of the 70s where you're like, I don't know who that guy is, but he's the best actor I've ever seen in every film, the the, like side two, you know, two through four. The character actors were fucking incredible. And that's I feel like that's the difference between films, even the 90s. Like I was watching old Twister. Like the gang in Old Twister is incredible. It's some of like the best actors ever. Phil Hoffman is like one of the side characters. Alan Ruck, new Twister, everyone's garbage. And I was thinking that about Alien too. I was like, the first Alien, every actor on that ship is so good. The original Alien, fantastic. Even Aliens has like Kyle Reese and Bill Paxton. And yeah, so and good. Fucking I feel like. I feel like when Wayne's World came out, that kind of like made a lot of like directors and films like second guess having character actors because I'm Wayne's, World, <laughs> Wayne's World just totally took that trope and made it like the whole movie. Like the whole movie is just character actors being so, just popping in and being so weird. Like uh, you're saying, they satirized it out of. They just took, yeah, like all they took that whole trope and were just like, let's just throw a bunch of character actors and just make them ridiculous. Like, there's so many. Name, name two, name two. I I can name three off the top of my head. One, I got one. The diner guy, Ed Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. We're all talking about the same guy. He's fantastic in that movie. (laughs) And then I don't know which is Wayne's World one or two, but uh, Chris Farley. He's in Barley's brother. He plays different characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like him in the first one because the one where he's the, he's a security guy. Yes, and he's, he's wearing like, the yellow uh, shirt. It's like so, Mr. Biggs taking his he's thing like tell- down there. They just come <laughs> back here, and, go, and then and they break the fourth wall, and he's like, they, he gave me a lot of it. They gave us a lot of information. Like, feels yeah, like that, was, that, that was might a, come back. That was a good amount of exposition. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think they even used yeah. that. Yep. And then uh, the, the, the Charlton Heston. Charlton What's Heston's Charlton in? Heston in it? Yeah. He's a, those feel more like cameos than... When is Charlton Heston in it? So they have another guy. It's like a gas station clerk. And uh, he's like... Not yeah, they replace him. He's like, who's this guy? When they do the they graduate. Charlton Heston. Yeah. When it's is just, that? He's like, wow, pretty good. Is that in one yeah, or two? <sighs> It's in two. It's in, in two. two. I was going to say, I don't yeah, remember in one. I want to go to the graduate. 
Remember, he runs out of gas, so he's running, and he gets Cassandra. to the gas station. And if they're playing, what yeah. song is it? He's playing. If the gas is running the out, it slows down. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. And he goes to the wrong church. He goes to the wrong church. Cassandra. I haven't watched that. Cassandra. Cassandra. God, those movies were so good. Um, I saw a thing that they, those two, their whole falling out, Dana Carvey and Miguel Myers, is solely because Dr. Evil is Dana Carvey's impression of fucking... Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. Mm-hmm. I never knew that. Is yeah. that really why they fell out? That's what I think that was like the catalyst. Well, think about how much money Austin Powers made. Yeah. And they were yeah, boy. They could have just had Dana Carvey play Dr. Evil. Well, I think that's why Mike Myers did it is because he, the movie's not the movie. It's he's not playing every character, you know? Yeah. I don't, I don't fault him for that. But if, if he did it without telling him, that's, I'm, you know, if you watch our last episode, I'm an advocate of stealing comedy. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. You should bring steal. it back. You should, you should generate. Speaking of which, I have this bit. <laughs> Here we go. Back to the point of the podcast. Hey, everybody. Welcome to What Is This Podcast? We're officially starting it. And the point of this podcast is for us to come up with a great five-minute set for all of us to do. Yeah. So I was watching Remember the Titans. <laughs> Current, cool. <laughs> is this a joke you thought of when you were twelve? <laughs> no, I wish it would be more appropriate. <laughs> and there's there's moments, and I I don't know if only high school football players can relate to Remember the Titans on this sort of level, but there's moments in Remember the Titans where I get fucking chills and goosebumps, and my heart's fucking racing and i'm like yeah let's fucking go and feel it like deeply in my core you know there's two the scene when they first bond in practice and they're doing the left side strong side side. left side gets me every i'm like in my living room just jacked up and then the other one where the white guy and you can't really give white guys too much credit in this film but when the white coach is like, I don't want them to gain another yard. <laughs> you blitz all night. I want them to remember for Every time that scene happens, I'm, I'll punch my grandmother in the face. I'm just like, where's my pads? Let's go. <laughs> but nothing really stirs me as much as Hayden Penetier does in that movie. Young Hayden. And it's not sexual. It's not it, sexual. It can't, it can't be. Don't but start it, that. It's only because I know where she ends up. You know what I mean? Yes. Is she like 10 years old in that movie? Yes. But she's so fiery. I've never seen such fire and passion in a 10-year-old. And she, I haven't seen the movie in so fucking long. Is she the white coach's daughter? No, she's the oh. black coach's daughter. <laughs> Is she really? Damn. <laughs> I'm on that Hall of Fame real dad, baddie. Real you guys bad. are a bunch of sissies. Real bad, that. daddy. Knock it out. She's just so fiery. I don't. There's something about her fieriness. You want to shoot some her hoops? Hair. Her wheat, her wheat hair. It's so thick and curly. Wheat hair. Yeah, like fields of wheat. <sighs> Anyways, it's not sexual. It's not sexual. And then I just start doing impressions of her. That's kind of a bit. It's just that I'm in love with Aiden Penitieri, but like it's because I know where she lands. I know she's going to be thick as fuck and like 4'11 one day and married to fucking Karolanko. <laughs> so you like, you like short women? No, no, no. I just like fiery 10-year-olds with, with hair like fields of wheat. <laughs> I'm just jealous. That's all, Daddy. I'm just jealous. It's old as Cain and Abel. You know, she's so fiery. And I, sometimes I'm like, I would marry that girl. You got you got young Gosling sitting right there. 
You got yeah. Let's not forget Young Gosling, absolute liability at corner. Can't be trusted on defense. That's right. Thanks for not worth its salt as a cornerback. Yeah, you took the whole <laughs> meme from a. You took the whole bit from a meme that we've all seen. You can't repurpose memes. Yeah. So, yes, I can. If you hadn't said anything, it's hilarious. Nobody knows that's the meme. It, it it because you said is an absolute liability, which is like in the big white text that we it's can all know. Words. That's the problem. If you change the words absolute around, absolute liability in the secondary. <laughs> you also have Donald Faison in there. I told you. <laughs> Donald yeah. Faison's great in that movie. Um. Wait, Louis Elastic is um. Who's Louis Elastic? The big fat guy, who's in a ton of things. Louis Elastic. Yeah, the big fat guy. That's not Louis his name. Elastic. Like that sounds like oh, that's a, the name in the movie is Louis Elastic. It is. Louis Elastic. Yeah. <laughs> no, Louis. <Wank. laughs> Louis. Louis Elastic. Louis Elastic. Yeah, he's in Mallrats. He stares at the 3D picture the whole time. Yeah, he's in Wolf of Wall Street. He was in uh, My Name Is Chuck. My name is Earl, which was the long running TV. Oh, show. yeah. Like, guys, you gotta... What is my name is Chuck? My name is Earl. Hi, my name is Chuck. What was it called? No. My name is Earl. Damn it. Chuck came on before my name is Earl in was the, he in line, in the TV lineup. American History I put X. put them together. I think there we go. Yeah, it was in Blow. This American Snack. Character actor. Blow. No. All right. There you go with a character actor. Character actor. Character actor. Yep. Great character actor. Great character. Still doing it. Still doing it. Great character actor. They don't make them like that anymore, Great man. That's what I want to This guy from Ted 2 that kidnaps Ted. Giovanni Ribisi. That's Ted Great 1. Great character actor. That's Ted. He is a good character actor. If you've seen The Offer, good character actor. Ethan Suplee is the big guy's name who's now like jacked. Yeah. Louis Elastic. <laughs> Louis Elastic. <laughs> it's me. Now that I think about it, it's kind of fucked up to name him Elastic. <laughs> well, that's the only kind of pants he can wear. I know, I know, I get it. I get it. Get it. I get yeah. it. Like they say, um, Gary Tortilla, the greatest character actor of all time. Harry Tortilla. Harry Tortilla. Who's that? The greatest character. character actor. You don't know Harry Tortilla, the greatest character actors lived. So wait a minute, keep going, keep going. Uh, well, see, I see. I think there is a great character actor right now, but I want to hear other character actors before we get there because you said there's none. There's definitely one big one that I can think of. I mean, oh, uh, legitimate character yeah. actor. I know who you're talking about, uh, Paul G- Paul Giamatti. Was it? Mm. I don't consider him a character actor. Do you? Yeah. Does he, he do is. characters? I mean, he did the rhino. That's not, that's not what defines character actor, by the way. Yes, you're not the leading. You're not the leading. You're not mm. like acting. Yeah, you're, you're a believable man. man. No, no, you're that's a character. Not, no, no. A character actor is always character. a more of a character. It's a heightened type of role. That and yeah, like, oh, that's that guy who was amazing in this as something heightened. Like Michael Keaton could be a character actor because he was Batman and Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice, that is a character actor performance. But he can't because he's a leading man. Those are two leading men. Those are no, two no, leading no, men. No, no, the style that he is so, doing. So like if Beetlejuice was a secondary Depp. character. You got, it's got to be a secondary character no, and it's got to be a heightened performance. The movie you was could call, called Beetlejuice. Yeah, but you could call Johnny yeah, Depp. Johnny, Johnny Depp's also a character actor, Yo, though. Do you know how long? Do you know how long yes, Beetlejuice was in the first Beetlejuice? How many minutes he was actually in airtime? Like twenty. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. The, the original, original? the second one. Yeah, yeah in, the, in the original. Yes. Yeah. So Terry's got a point. He is a character actor in that. He's no. not the leading. The leading man was Alec Baldwin. He yeah. was the leading man. Yes. But the movie is called Beetlejuice. I get that, but, th- but we're talking about acting. Like, and if you're a character actor, you're doing a character. You're doing a heightened version of reality of something. So, like, um, yeah. 
And and usually you're not the lead. Usually you're not the lead unless it's a weird movie. Yeah. Character actor like Phil Hoffman, character actor. I don't know about that because who are the who are the big characters? I can get down with that because he's done leading no. man. He's done second banana. He's done real drama. Shit. But, but what are the characters? Be leading, but oh, his, oh other- that's the thing. That's the crossover. His leading men ca- are characters. Hook. There's another one. He was he. It's after. It's titled after his character, but he's not the leading man. He totally oh, plays Hook. a character. Oh, Hook. Yeah. Are you talking about Dustin Hoffman? Yeah. Yeah. You just said Dustin. Now, Hoffman. now, okay, okay. That's another one. Dustin Hoffman does have a couple of real character roles. Uh, yeah. Hook was a character. The dude in uh, what's the porn movie from the seventies? Uh, Rain Man. No, something cowboy. Midnight Cowboy. He the is a character. He plays like Rizzo. He's like, uh, I'm walking in. That might be the guys. most. That's on my list with Deer Hunter of the most overrated films of all time in history. Uh, What's so great about Midnight Cowboy? Doesn't Hoffman don't understand? Doesn't Hoffman is is the nice part of that? And he does because it's job. like, and just because it's about like scum and it's kind of gross. They didn't have many like movies about gross and things that was before edge that. at the time. What? Yes, and he, you know, he hit that car, that taxi cab. Mr. Magorium, walking here. Yeah, Mr. Magorium's Wonder Emporium. That was another character <laughs> that Dustin Hoffman did. Uh, Rain Man yeah, was definitely a character, I guess. It was a character because he's not. Uh, <laughs> well, he might be. He got canceled. What does that mean? Know. Sean Penn is. Oh, full. I am saying. Sean Penn's leading man. Yeah, but uh, what's that movie with Al Pacino that he's in? It's like a spiritual successor to Scarface. Carlito's Way. Carlito's Way. Yeah, he does both. Sean Penn wants to be the best, like Gary Oldman, character actor. Mm-hmm. Always a wild fucking character. I suppose you ain't yeah. looking at titty. You ain't eating no Chinese food. Now I know motherfuckers. That's Gary Oldman. Ben, ben Mendelssohn. Yeah. From um, True Romance. I don't what? remember. Ben, ben Mendelssohn. Why? Mendelsohn? Why Ben Mendelssohn? Because he's a, he plays a different character in every movie he's in. He's, he, he's, he's a strong. Character. A strong but character. he also is leading man. Like he you know, was like you know. very very handsome. But what's his character? Younger? I've never seen him do a character. He, um, what he's talking one? about everything. He's a character in everything. Uh, no, no he's, he's, he's always, he's playing just Brad a guy. Brad. That's what a character actor is. No, it isn't. That's not what a character actor is. Yes, a character is. actor has to, to play a character. You don't have to be a character actor. You don't have to be fucking Johnny Depp and fucking running around like an idiot. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you do. No. We gotta, we gotta figure this out. Now, be a believable. Right now. No, 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 no. You, you guys both have completely different views on what means, what it means to be a character actor. I'm actually right in the middle. So I think that Terry, what you may be talking about is we need to come up with a new term. Is it a strong character? Is it a strong character, or is it just a character actor? Well, a character actor is an actor known for playing unusual, eccentric, or interesting characters in supporting roles rather than leading ones. The term is somewhat abstract and open to interpretation. So that's fair. However, I think it's got to be unusual, eccentric, or interesting. And I don't think anything Ben Mendelsohn done, has done falls into that category. That's crazy. Have you ever seen Killer Him Softly? That's what I was just trying is to say. even in with. that with Brad Pitt? Yes, he's he's so in character. You don't even know it's fucking Ben Mendelsohn, man. He's no, that, but weird. but he there's he's not weird or unusual. He's just yes, a, he is, is he just the heroin addict. Jumping, like heroin addicts like he, ben he's like the driving character. force of the story. I yeah, character actor. I don't think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw the dick. Mendelssohn you don't flag. Know dick about fucking wieners. You didn't try to go talk about, about the cops, uh, did you? What about Mississippi Grind? Great yeah, he's playing he the plays a gambler. With... Yeah. But he's not the leading man. It, but it's not eccentric or, or odd or strange or. Yeah, well, I guess know, usually here, here's, here's kind of the. How about character how about acting used to just this, be reserved uh, 
Wait, character acting Here's used to greatest. just be reserved for people with bad faces and bad bodies. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Traditionally, sure. that's what it, it is. It's just for a are we, are good, we back good back? ugly. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi, greatest character actor ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy Paul Giamatti. Eyes. I said Paul no, Giamatti. I think we could agree. Paul Giamatti, character actor. But I don't know so any of the roles where he's a character is. actor outside of when he's playing the rhino. Usually, Steve he's Buscemi. not off the wall. Yes, he is. Usually, You're like it's a, that's a guy that exists in the world. Um, that's, what, that's what Zach is talking. That's what like John C. Riley. Oh, in any like Paul Thomas Anderson thing? I don't know. Yeah, Sisters Brothers. Gangs in New York. He's, that's kind Gangs of Gangs in New York. He, John C. Yeah, Riley. Gangs in New both. York. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, he fits into both the way you guys are talking about. He can be a strong yeah, character. Mary, 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 Mary. Um, I love the Sisters Brothers is an incredible movie. I love oh, that movie. What jo- Joaquin Phoenix could probably be a character actor. Sure. Joker and then whatever the last movie he was in, that that movie was crazy. Uh yeah, Tom Beatty. I'm still here. That was a character. Oh yeah. Wait, that was I'm a still here. Character. Who's who's that was, in that was a movie, right? I'm still here. The the documentary no. that they did. Oh, Bob yeah, Bill. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Oh, the mockument of the fake he, one. Yeah, he took character acting to a whole other level. Yeah. Yeah, that was, that was a new Andy era. Kaufman type Frontier. shit. Doesn't that end with him just, like, shitting in his b- buddy's bed? <laughs> That's what it all builds up to. I don't remember how it ends. I, I watched it one time when it came out. I don't remember how it ends. I just remember feeling very uncomfortable while I was watching it. He's committed. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I don't know, but I do love the Sisters Brothers. That's a great fucking movie. Yeah, yeah, it is. But I think, uh, all right, who else? Who else? Who's like more modern? Because we said there's no more, no, there's no modern ones. And to be fair, everyone we've talked about kind of popped in like the '90s, at the latest, yeah, right? Yeah, '70s, like Dennis Hopper, at the time of. Well, the Steve Buscemi actor. didn't pop until the '90s. Yeah, there's no modern character actor. Well, actually, I got a guy. Yeah. Uh, he was in... Um... Oh, shit. They don't really make him no more. He's in, he was in two movies that I know of. He was in Spike Lee's... Uh... You could say Barry Keoghan is probably close to a character actor. No, he, but he could be a leading man, though, too. He can. Yeah, he you can been. do both. I, but I would I would say he's more leading man and less character. He's more character. Actually, no, maybe because every all of his roles where he's secondary, I think is he where he's strongest. Fuck. Banshees of Inisherin, he's incredible. Um, Killing of a Sacred Deer, he's weird as fuck. Bat the Batman, he's good as Joker. Yeah, briefly there. In the uh, you know anything post credit, it doesn't count. It wasn't even Paul Walter Hauser. Paul Walter Hauser. Who, man, that. He always does play a fat guy, though. But. Yeah, that's his character. (laughs) But, like, it's always a fat, dumb guy. Terry, if you got real lean, like, real (laughs) lean. Yeah. Like, a third of He did. He lost. You could put. You could be. You got some Timothy Oliphant vibes going. (laughs) Because the hair right now is stellar. That would the nice be nice thing you could say to a man. Is true. That you look where we come old. from. That's the greatest compliment there is. Where I come. If you told me that I look like hair. Timothy Oliphant, I'd kiss you on the mouth. Oh, Tim, love Timothy Oliphant. Timothy Oliphante. Oliphante. That would be like yeah. skeleton. Timothy Oliphante. You just look like him, like a beefy, beefy Timothy. <laughs> Beefy Chalamet. That's that's a character. Beefy, Beefy Chalamet is a great character I could start playing on this show. <laughs> Beefy Chalamet. That's what I'm going to do Beefy my stand-up set Chal- as. Hey, everybody, this is Beefy Chalamet. Beefy Chalamet. Uh, I, was in, I take keeps for I, my I hair. I was in <laughs> performance of Willy Wonka where instead of chocolate, I just serve beef jerky. Beef, different <laughs> kinds of beef jerky. Try and figure figure the word beef in all my character names. Beef Wonka. 
Beefy Wonka. Beefy Wonka. Willie Beef. <laughs> it's beefy elastic. Uh, instead of Dune, it's just beef. It's just beef. Same font. Welcome to Same Beef Mountain. Font. Beef. Beef. <laughs> Oh, man, there's no stakes in this desert. Beef Mountain. <laughs> beef Mountain. Escape to Beef Mountain. The Rock was in that movie. The remake. Escape to Witch Mountain. A weird Disney film. Who else? Who else? Who else? Before I blow the fucking lid off this and reveal the uh, modern greatest character actor. You have one loaded, huh? I have one locked and loaded. For sure. No, let me find, let but me keep, but I want you guys to focus on like 90s, 2000s, 2010s, all that stuff. Michael Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon. Michael Shannon. Get it. Michael out of town. Shannon. Yeah. Michael Shannon Michael as a side character. Michael Shannon in the night Does of. And do both. But in the night of, where he's just the drug dealer in the sweater, that's an unbelievable. Actually, do you know what the best thing he ever did was? And look this up. Have you ever watched him read the sorority girl letter that went I was viral? Bring that up. I was Dude, just looking that up. That is the best performance. It's so good. It's so fucking Zach. Have you seen it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but oh it's Michael God. Shannon, like Brittany can't be yeah. allowed <laughs> to join the pledge committee. The lighting and the chair that he's in. It's oh, so fucking Nicholson. Perfect. Jack Nicholson's a character actor. Yeah. The yes. man is a character. He yeah. is a character. No doubt. At one uh, point, Sandler was a character actor. No. At one is. point, Lil Nicky. Yeah. Water Boy. I just yeah. mean like when I say character actors, it's I just mean right. guys who are right. in side roles. Like Rockwell was a character actor forever. Until yeah. He- Became you just see him in everything in the side, just being really good. Maybe a character actor is just a guy who hasn't been recognized yet. <laughs> no, no, actor. no, because because you used to be a character actor, you used to get cast yeah. in everything as a character actor. You'd have to play the characters, yeah. If you, um, fucking yeah, who's a modern character actor? I can't think of any right now, dude. Well, it's because no. they're, they're, they're everyone doing stuff now is so multi talented. Like, like Donald Glover. I just don't think if Donald cared. Glover wanted to be a character actor, he could be, but he can't because he's doing everything else. By the sure. way, I saw I saw him play in Brooklyn last Monday. It was fucking amazing. Cool. Yeah, I bet. Cool. It's amazing. He's quite the performer. I just don't oh. think that they value that sort of thing. I think no. it, they they like aliens. I was thinking about it a lot watching aliens because the first aliens, uh, Dean, Dean Stanton, uh, William Hurt, like um, or Jonathan, um, like the character actors, incredible. They're honestly some of the best part is like the other. Oh, how about uh, how about cousin in the bear? What's his name? Eben Moss. Yeah, he's always played characters, but now he's going to be the thing. Yeah. Well, who is yes. not the lead, and that is very right. much a character actor role, you know? Yeah. 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 I he's would, a great I, man. But, but all of well, his roles showed, are eccentric and weird. That's a good pull. That shows a great example. Because he was like, in uh, Punisher in a wheelchair, too. The bear is full of great side characters. Yep. yep. They have good character actors. Um, but I just don't think people value them. I think they they go, oh, let's just take whoever's cheap and recognizable, you know, instead of like let's find a great actor for this, you know, C or D part. Like it requires more time and effort. And I think that's kind of why. Well, the true char- character actors character were actors. also like sought after. Like you'd have to pay money to get like that guy yeah. who to do that thing in your movie, you know. Yeah. And when you watch like all those movies of the seventies and eighties, it's all like the same guys too. Like the background third best friend guy, you've seen him all in like the same movies, and they're always you know. Really good. Um, will uh, not hurt. John Hurt is Elephant he's Man. An alien. He's an alien. Yes, he's a great example of a character actor. He's the one that bursts out of his chest. Yeah, and then I would I would say Ron Perlman is also a character. Oh yeah, 
and was in I Alien the first Resurrection. Time I saw him was in a Huckleberry Finn thing. Whoa, whoa, take it easy, man. <laughs> right? When I was a kid, I can't even say Huckleberry Finn anymore. You talk about Tom and Huck? Tom and Huck, is that what it was? Well, that was that movie with Jonathan Taylor Thomas. And he was it? Was he, he was like the, the abusive father. Probably. That's a character. Sounds like Ron Perlman. And he scared me. It was so scary. When I was I remember, a kid, well, I saw it. You might have like, heard wow, him. Scary. You might have heard him first. He was the voice of Clayface in Batman, the animated series. Oh, then I absolutely heard him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he did like this. If you Watch it. There's this episode. It's in the first season. It's about an because Clayface is an actor who keeps putting on this makeup so that he stays youthful he and eventually character. takes him over. He but there's a part. A character actor. Oh, my God. But there's a crazy part where uh, he can't stop turning into different roles. And it's like Ron Perlman's putting on a clinic doing that. It's an amazing little performance there. I right, asked him about it in real time, and he was like, and in person once, and he was like, "Oh, yeah, it was exhausting." He's like, "Usually, you take those jobs because it's great cash and it's not very hard, but like that one was really hard to do." Just to do all the different voices for like one episode. Who's yeah, your character? He was talking about that episode being like super yeah. hard, and usually he lo- always loved to take the. He still does it, like um, he still does animated stuff all the time, but he was saying it's usually like an easy gig. And that one kicked his ass. Well, got a very unique I voice. I remember that episode. I remember it. That was a great episode. It was. He was really oh, hurt. He was cursed. Bill Camp. Bill Camp is a great contemporary character actor. I don't Bill know Camp. that I know him. Bill Camp? Yeah. Camp. He's in everything. He's the, my definition of a character actor. He was oh, just in yeah. The, he's great. That Jake Gyllenhaal show on Apple was super good. and he's, He was excellent in it. I didn't watch that. But he's good in uh, uh, that poker movie, Molly's Game. He's in Molly's Game? Real quick. As a true character actor, he is. He has this one little aside about, like, this guy who went on tilt. It's maybe 10 minutes of the movie. And it's great. It's this own little... I like that movie. Yeah, he's unbelievable in that. He's unbelievable in everything. You should watch that Jake Gyllenhaal show. It was really he was in well The done. Outsider with Mendelssohn. Oh, Jake Gyllenhaal's brother is one of the, uh, the best character actors ever. Peter Sarsgaard, the most underrated actor yeah. in the Brother? Brother-in-law. He's All of them. To- Sarsgaard is married to Mo- uh, Maggie? Peter Sarsgaard, not to be confused with the Skarsgards, which is a different... Peter Sarsgaard is good very character. good. Which are, is a family of character actors. <laughs> Just the yeah, scars. well, the dad, the dad definitely is. Ellen, yeah, well, the dad's the best of them all. Yeah. How about Scoop McNary? Scoop See, McNary. I hear his name all the time. What is he yeah. in? Great choice. What is Great he in? Choice. There's uh, a new movie. Kill him softly. <laughs> with Ben Mendelsohn. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's in those all those scenes with Ben Mendelsohn. They're boys, man. Why? You got to pay attention. Then, uh, uh, he was in True Detective season three. Yeah, great. <laughs> that movie, or in that season, he's in uh, that guy, Batman, the bad guy in, in True Superman. Detective. The bad guy in the first season of True Detective is an amazing character. character. Oh yeah, he's yeah. in Billions too, and like he goes from my, like crazy guy hunters. in overalls to man in suit. Oh, like how I've about never this seen one? Jennifer Coolidge. No, she just is a character. character. actor. No, character she just act. is a character. She's playing the same role. And she's an actor. Put that together. Actually, god damn it. You know where you know where she is great? There's a show on HBO called Ten Year Old Tom. The tits. Right in the tits. Well, yeah. But Ten Year Old Tom, she is not playing her typical bimbo role. She's playing like a really bitchy mom, and she's amazing. Walter Goggins. That's who it is. That is our number one character actor uh, working right now. The ghoul. Baby Billy. Uh, and justified. That's a pretty good one. And Judy vice Greer. principals. Vice principals. God, God oh. damn, that's so Louis, good. How about Luis Guzman? He, he, uh, he always starts earlier. Guy, yeah, Luis Guzman. The same guy. Exactly. Brian. Uh, yeah. Except when he was Gomez. But even that, it was like Luis doing Gomez. Oh, um, John Carroll Lynch, the husband from Fargo. Franny's husband. Oh yeah, sure. I'll make the 
two for you there. Babe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, and he he, he, did, he did um he was in uh, always good. American Horror Story. Yeah, he's in Zodiac. He might be the killer in Zodiac. We don't really know. He's in there was a there's a crazy movie where it's like a whole party is gonna kill themselves and there's like a red balloon. Um that's Schindler's list, bro. No, it's not. And it's not really a party. No, it's uh, called it's parties. called the invitation. It's called the invitation, I believe. I don't know if I'd call it a party, man. In the Halloween Hollywood <laughs> Hills. Holocaust. Oh, yeah, Hollywood. Hollywood. Oh, well, you said Red Bull. The, the Holocaust Hills? God damn it. <laughs> the Holocaust. It was a but great yeah. time. Everyone was partying. Party. <laughs> <laughs> a little too much. Oh, um, uh-huh. Stolberg. Michael Stolberg. One of the greats. Who? One of the great. Michael Stolberg. Michael? He's the father in Call Me By Your Name. I didn't see that. What? How do you spell it? Michael Stolberg. I got it. How about... Uh, Who is this guy? You don't know Michael Stolberg? He's in everything. Well, he's an Australian rugby player as well. What? <laughs> yeah, there's an Australian rugby player with the same name. That's not the one I'm talking about. Fucking talking Steven about- Root. Oh. Steven Root. Who's Steven Root? That sounds familiar. Milton from Office Space. Yeah. He's in... Er- oh, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Latest, we was in Barry. From Barry, yeah. Fantastic. He also plays... Uh, the Bill from uh, King of the Hill. Does he? Yeah, the fat guy. Yeah, Stephen Root. Stephen Root. Stephen Root. Said, but again, he started in the 90s. So Stolberg. S-T-U-H-L-B-A-R-G. Stolberg. How about this guy? I got a deep pull here. Broadwalk Empire. Actor Michael Serious S- Man, Shape of Water, Call Me By Your Name. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's in a lot of stuff. He's been um, hey, how about a Brad Pitt? He wishes. He fucking wishes, but no. He never. he he started. Wait, wait, wait. He, he started Pitt? as one, to be fair. He did start as one. Thelma and Louise, that's his first role. That is a Inglourious, weird eccentric role. That's that's character. Character. 12 Glorious monkeys. 12 not monkeys. A character actor. California. He is terrible. That's like the worst performance ever. He, they nominated him. But it's I weird. I brought this up to just be scoffed at, not to be a conversation. No, I'm, not, I'm not scoffing. I'm not scoffing. Benjamin Button. All right. I love oh, Benjamin Button. Okay. And I, can, uh, I don't tell a lot of people. Fucking. I love Benjamin. The Big Short. The Big Short, he is a weird, eccentric character in it. Yeah, he but he's Brad like, Pitt, man. This is, no, he's are. not. He's starting to disappear. Have you ever seen Killing Him Softly? <laughs> Brad Pitt. Killing Him Softly, man. Yo, Terry, you Mendelsohn. gotta watch Killing Him Softly. No, I have him seen softly. it. He is playing a character. I have seen it. You haven't. You've I, never seen it. I have seen it. It's such a good him. movie, man. The final monologue is I've, so good. Or, I don't know. It's really well done. Monologue. I think. If the final Greg, Greg Frazier, Greg Frazier's the DP in a movie that like blew him up. Oh, do you know who else is in that? That's a great character actor. What's Scoot McNary's in that movie? Ray Liotta's like, in that Ray movie. Ray Liotta. Sam Shepard. Um, Gandolfini. The fat guy from Richard Jenkins. Richard Jenkins, all time, dude. Richard all Jenkins. Time character Perfect. Actor. Yeah, I love me some Richard yeah. Jenkins. He's great in the shape There's of a water. Scene in Hall Pass. Have you guys seen Hall Pass with yeah. Owen Wilson and Sudeikis? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. There's a scene with Richard Jenkins where he talks about fucking his sister when they're looking at the picture. That makes me laugh so <laughs> fucking hard every time. Because Owen Wilson plays it so calm. Yeah, he's like, yeah, my sister Jenny. She's like, oh, really? How's she doing? Still married? He goes, yeah. Seem like they're going through a hard time. <laughs> it was so funny. He was tan. He had was, like, oh, I remember he's like, I went balls deep on a bridesmaid. Had big old flappers. He goes, bum, 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 bum. And he grabs one of the tits and holds it like an old phone. He goes, hello. <laughs> he goes, yeah, my sister Jenny. He goes, and he just drops it. He goes, oh, what's she doing? Still married. Seem like they're going through a hard time. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. 
boom, 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 boom. Hello. Blah, 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 blah. Well, and then he's the dad and step <laughs> stepbrother. He turns it into an old fashioned phone. <laughs> I gotta see this. Makes a phone call. You have to watch this clip, man. It's so funny. I die. Just the way he's like, how's she doing? Still married. Seems like they're having some problems. Yeah, and he can just randomly, he plays the cop in uh, Me, Myself, and Irene. You know, and then he's in. Oh, he's amazing. Shape of Water. In everything. Uh, Burn Shape After Reading. He just plays a desperate, yeah. bliss romantic. He's all like, time. Oh, John Malkovich just has to be one of the greatest character actors of all time. Oh, absolutely. That's number one. That is number one. Yeah. Fucking John Malkovich. Fucking John Actually, I don't know. Malkovich. I just watch a mice. I would have put him number one because he, he still has, <laughs> he still has his voice. He has the John Malkovich voice in every. Yeah, it's hard to escape. I just watched of Mice and Men, and he's so fucking good in that. It's scary besides the poker movie he doesn't do a john malkovich voice he does a bad russian accent yeah what's the poker I movie slash the park whenever i did well with, uh, matt damon and rounders man i love that movie it's a great movie cyrus yeah. the virus ed norton ed norton ed norton no nah, he's not a character he, he wants to be but leading mon but uh, yeah, so I I actually saw a theory the other day about Malkovich's character in Rounders that he wasn't supposed to be a Russian dude. He, yeah, I'm he, sure he did that on his own. <laughs> he just decided to do it, and Matt Damon, like the first day they're shooting, was like, "Like, what are you doing? Man? Like, what's this?" And uh, he he whispered something to Matt Damon, like, "I'm a terrible actor." Or something like that. I'll bite your cock off. So it kind of made me think, like, oh, was his character actually in the movie, not Russian? You know what I mean? Was this Probably just not. a twist that he made? And he just did it just to throw everyone off, you know, the characters in the actual story. Mm-hmm. Was that a choice that the character made to throw everyone off so that they wouldn't know who he actually was? It's actually pretty smart. Character actor. Yeah. I, I've been watching movies that, I, um, that I've that i been lying about having seen for years recently, just so <laughs> I can stop doing that, I guess. You've this never good, seen that? This is a good bit. This is a good bit. Yeah, there's a bunch of movies I've been lying about seeing for, like, ever. Um, one of which, Seven Samurai. Never seen it. Started watching it the other night. And I was like, ah. I can not watch this. <laughs> um, but point being to all of this, like, um, like, oh, there's all these Bergman films I lie about having seen, like all these Fellini films and these Godard films. You don't have shoot. to lie. You can just shoot say you haven't yeah, seen. Yeah, no, 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 I do. I'm an art, I'm an art, I'm a film guy. <laughs> it's not even I that I lie. I lie about, not see, about seeing movies. When people it's see- not that I even lie. I just pretend like I have because I already know all the information about them or the topical conversation stuff that you would talk about that film. So I just go along as if I have seen it. It's not really lying. That's not lying. Anyways, I, I I've stopped that that. in my life. I've, I've started saying I don't. I haven't seen it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what that word means. I've Me started too. like stopping I, I people and be to, like, I don't I know what that means. I, what I, is I, killing them softly? Haven't seen it. Don't know. That's you. That's now you to be fair. I thought that killing them softly was actually the movie with Matthew McConaughey, where he goes and visits like a weird a house and it's like a whole story in one room, and fucking Juno Temple's in it. Um. Oh, you're talking about Killer Joe? Yes. I thought Killing Them Softly was Killer Joe. But I've no, also Killer seen Joe. Killing Them Softly. I was just thinking of Killer Joe. Killer Joe is a play. Timothy Olafat. <laughs> it's also a movie with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, based on the fucking play. Okay. Based on my asshole. Based on your asshole. Um, But so oh, I've been lying about. Beefy oh, Chalamet. Timothy Olafat. Timothy Olafat. Um, written by Tracy Letts. Great character actor. Written um, by Tracy Tracy Morgan? 
He's Tracy a Letts. Director. He also wrote August Osage County. Um, he's a good pl- playwright. I, I also wrote King <laughs> <Rose> State County. <laughs> I brought Bergen County, New Jersey. I did that too. <laughs> Bergen County. Um, I'm so a, been, don't, wait, don't talk about great character actors without talking about Tracy Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be awesome if it came out later that Tracy Morgan is a Tracy, character invented at Tracy like by Morgan. some kid from Juilliard. <laughs> and he actually speaks proper and everything like that. It was Gary Oldman. It was Gary Oldman the whole time. <laughs> Tiptoes. Have you seen that? This is I'm looking at Chinese. You ain't got none of my Chinese food. Goddamn. I said, this cool motherfucker, he ain't got to worry in the goddamn world. Um, what a wild swing to do that in that movie. <laughs> it's wild. What is the What is the part? Is he... True Romance? Yeah, what is his part? True romance. He's, uh, he's the white guy with dreads. He's, he's the white Jamaican. In the beginning, he's the bad guy. He's the small bad guy, and then Christopher Walken's the main bad guy. Yes. That movie's so good. Oh, Chris Drexel. Penn. Oh, he's okay. Drexel. Yeah. Sit down. Try some of my Chinese boo, motherfucker. Watch my TV. I said, man, shit, this guy ain't got a can of wood. Give me the bitch. <laughs> that practically make us family. He, well, he also famously played a whole role on his knees to be a, a little person Me? in a movie called Tiptoes. Good title. Tiptoes. Good title. I think McConaughey's in that. Um. So I, I've been lying about watching Cassavetti's films for a long time. I've never seen one, but I'm like, yeah, Cassavetti's. <laughs> I'm a liar. Uh-huh. <laughs> and so I watched A Woman Under the Influence because Jenna Rollins died recently, like a month ago or so. And that is, I'm going to say, the best single female performance in a movie maybe ever. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Mm-mm. A Woman Under the Influence? Mm-mm. You know who Jenna Rollins is? Who? Or maybe it's Gina. I'm pretty sure it's Jenna. Jenna Rollins? Mm-mm. See, this is how you do it, Zach. It it, it allows you to He's learn things. Just lie. And just not lie. come across as a liar. Um, she's in the notebook. She's the old woman in the notebook who has no memory. Are you talking about Cloris Leachman? <laughs> Great character actor. Great character actor. Cloris Leachman. Cloris. Cloris? Yeah, Cloris Leachman. It wasn't Florence the whole time? No, it was Cloris. She was beautiful when she was young. Yeah, yeah. She was born yeah. in April so 30th, fucking- 1926, Des Moines, Iowa. Holy smokes. She was the one to mock the whore in yeah. uh, Beer Fest. Beer Fest. You want a little sausage in you? I was playing ping, ping pong and ding dang. Ping pong and ding dang. <laughs> they roughed me up real good. I'm sorry. I, I I don't know how I'd be able to recover if somebody shoved the ping pong handle up my ass. Wasn't the handle. The <laughs> <laughs> shit pancakes ever since. <laughs> Nigger schmacker. That's a great film. That movie, you want to talk about like a, films that have like visceral reactions? I want to drink every beer in the world after watching that movie. Oh, man, it makes beer look so good. It's like watching SpongeBob. Makes beer look. The cheeseburger, right. the Krabby Patties. I want a cheeseburger, right? <laughs> <laughs> beer fest, I just want a beer. Yeah, when I watch Fear and Loathing, I just want to do all the drugs. <laughs> See, yeah, that, well, for me, that's yeah. Wolf of Wall Street. Well, that's yeah. just really one drug they're focused on in that movie. You sure? Pretty uh, well. No, you're not getting any quaaludes, so. Who says? You're just, you want to do cocaine. And that. money. <laughs> money. Cocaine, okay, money, and hookers. Money is a drug. Boom, 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 boom. That's what he says in the beginning monologue. Yeah. My favorite drug. Like, 
is this one. Great scene. Fuck you, But that still, when you watch that, you're like, ugh. Ooh. Not going to say what I, where I want to go here. But uh, so I had, after watching the action movie that I watched today, just a quick premise that could maybe turn into a joke with better comedic minds. Okay, you know, let's just do it. I'm going to toss up there. What was this and movie called again? It was called something Ridge, Rebel Ridge. The British Man, of Madison County. Honestly, I know it's gonna go overlooked, but like this movie is good, man. Like you just take my word for it, watch it. I was like thoroughly entertained. I could I, really I never picked up my phone. Just put it that way. I never picked up my phone. I was like, I gotta watch. I rewound it a couple times when I did pick up my phone. So I have a theory that an action movie, a good action movie. You can take the most experienced, like, Marine veteran, you know, and a stuntman that, you know, that turn into a director and put them together and they can brainstorm the best fucking action movie that they can come up with, right? But I would be willing to bet that a 12-year-old boy from fucking anywhere pluck them out of anywhere in middle america and you put the the two guys that i said previously and you put the 12 year old boy in two rooms right next to each other and you give them two hours to, to come up with a premise for an action movie and you got to come up with a character name you got to come up with a title name you got to explain in you know one page what the premise of the movie is, I guarantee you Hollywood would pick the 12 year old boy's premise every single time. That's just the idea. That's just the theory that I came up with today. I <laughs> wish that was true. I think no, I, when, saying, I'm I don't know, the, I'm when I'm watching there. the movie, why do they put all these details in there? Like at one point they're like, what do you, what do you got in there? He's talking about his gun. What do you got in there? He's like, I got like a, you know, a, a four slug or a, a four buck something, but and he's like smoking a cigarette. He's like, Reload that with slugs just in case he, you know, just in case he decides to grab someone. That's it. I'm like, I don't need to fucking see this shit. Like, I don't need to hear this lingo as a movie watcher, right? Just give me the fucking action. Just Did they end me. up needing those slugs? Did they? No, come they didn't. There was no. There was he. He never. They just. But threw it's just a shitty random. movie. Or they read it. I but gotta they, take it. But, but my point is, they do this in every movie where there's so much lingo. Where like the viewer, like it, you might as well be saying like, uh, "What do you got in there?" Like a twelve year old boy could come up with better shit. Like, what do you got in there? Well, I got a. Uh, I got like sixty-four, sixty-four blaster tango. Why is the lighting better in there? And a big window. Maybe you should see the podcast from there from now on. Maybe. Don't. Maybe I should shoot my life in here from now. On. Shoot your life. <laughs> Did you see my picture? Nah, there's a glare. Oh, the dude. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, this just sounds like a shitty movie. I don't want to watch the sequel to Hacksaw Ridge. Why? Hacksaw Ridge was great. Was it great? Yeah, legitimately great. You're throwing around great and character actor, real willy nilly today. Hey, uh, Mal Gibson does not have a bad movie that he directed. He's a good director. He's a great director. That's where I'll use great as him as a director. I don't know that that film is the example. I wouldn't put it up there with it's a good. It's a good one. It's Ray very. Martin. It's it, it's really good. It makes your heart feel good. Yeah, I think that's mostly uh, no, Mr. no. 
<laughs> Dude, anybody can be in any role. It's about constructing can, the universe. Andrew Garfield's a great actor. Yeah, but there's a, a million Andrew Garfields. Fans, but he's a good actor. He is a good actor, but you could put a million Andrew Garfields in there if it's uh, written well and shot well, and sure. it works. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, help me with this bit. Help me with this shit. That's funny. <laughs> Here's the bit. I wrote this down randomly September 7th, 2024 at 3.19 p.m. <laughs> Fat guys talking about how hard it is to be a young, hot waitress. What do we do with that? <laughs> It's just a skit. Oh. I think it's a skit. I think it's just, yeah, I think it's a series of interviews. <laughs> it's a skit. It's no, it's just like, it's an SNL skit with, you know, it's Sandler and Farley no. at the mall when they're playing chicks. Oh, dressed as girls? I wasn't going yeah. there, but that's funny. Dressed as girls. <laughs> it did it. Just like everyone that's keeps it. hitting on me at work and pinching I'm my starving. ass. They all made of starving. <laughs> Where did this idea spawn from, you me? I just write, man. I just write. When something comes to me, I write. Sure. But were you at a restaurant looking at waitresses or fat men? The question that always comes through around now is, do she got a fat ass dough? Indeed she do. <laughs> but... <laughs> That's all I wrote. <laughs> There's something there. There's some magic there. What's she do? Start from the top again. Sure. The so question that always comes through around now is, do she got a fat ass dough? Indeed she do, but... And it's and that's fat dudes talking about waitresses. No, you just conflated two ideas. <laughs> oh, okay. Also, that's a different thing. The one's just yeah, an right. idea, but I think it's better as a skit. This I feel like yeah, you do in funny a. Funny if, if we did put a two. If we did put the two together, fat dudes talking about waitresses. As no, waitresses. Think no, no, no. Just thinking they got a shot every time they walk by. But do she get? But do she got a fat ass though? She do. She do. I mean, that is that is a funny sketch. Just like even if they're normal guy, even if they're us, like the hot waitress thing. That's all I'm thinking about. It's all I'm talking about. Every move I make, every interaction at the table is highly calculated. When you have a hot waitress, and I think the insecurity. Like getting a glimpse of like the conversations of when she's not there and she passes by and then how they tighten up when she gets there could be really funny. Yeah, that just could like, be. I'm going to say something. And he's just like, thank you. you know? so can, can I get uh, extra, yeah, just extra? Like um... in. <laughs> All the like male vanity and security could be really Yo, funny. Take a, uh, let's take a salad. And then you just have a great character in this. Stop it, stop it. Why would you order a salad? Now she's never going to go out with you. Fuck. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. What do you, you got any, and then there's one, the one guy at the end that's like, what do you suggest? Like, yeah. what are your suggestions? Yeah. What, what do you guys, like? you should have done that. Should yeah. do that was you like, Every every time she comes back, it's a different like trying to work it out, trying to perfect it. Can I have that diet coke with uh, extra ice? Because I'm so cool. <laughs> Let's cook more ice. Diet coke. <laughs> There's always every like time, a crazy. Fuck! Like, Damn it! <sighs> I blew it. Yeah, that. That's that's funny. You get a great character actor, uh, just like a fat guy to play a female waitress in the background, just walking around. <laughs> <laughs> to play the waitress. There's something magical about fat guys. The lighting in here is really good, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got some nice lighting, man. Let me take a screenshot. This is really funny. It's being recorded, jackass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I want a still image. 
You can do that you yourself. Just move your desk into the bathroom, maybe. Is the sound isn't good though. The sound is awful. Is it? All right, the I got I got one more. Yeah. Uh when was it? written August twenty fourth at twelve oh six PM. One thing about getting older is that public farting is way up. I dare say at an all time high. I'd say the value of a kitty is at an all time low. The value of a what? No, Terry, I love that. I think that's a good one. <laughs> I love that. Because it's very relatable Terry, and very true. Right, so you throw in there the farting at the urinal. You throw in, dude, you throw that in there. All right, All right, how so do we do it? The value of farting is at an all time. The public farting is at an all time high, right? Yep, it's way up. But you got to say it like with dudes, just with bros. I think it's just you know it's more a reflection of humanity that it's acceptable. No, I'm farting. saying the That's older the I get, the less embarrassed you know, I am little, about just I ripping a, a fart a in the gym. Twist. I got a little. You should right. do it. Just okay, constantly so. farting on or around people where usually I would hold it, and now it's just – I have tricks to make it quiet, but at the same time, if I got my earbuds in, tap All right, it. Here's, here's, here's how you can flip it. You could say oh, – here's how you can twist it. You could say, you know, uh, six years ago, I probably would have been a little more – I probably would have been more concerned if I – ever had to fart like a silent fart in public right about it it might smell but now i'm probably about 60 percent less concerned ever since covid because a lot of people lost their sense of smell mm, that's a good one that's a route well that would that would be a route that i could bring up and say but it's so not about I, them i'm so not doing I it out of fart, courtesy it's about so me I, 10% more of the time. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then uh, we, maybe just go on a whole rant about like percentages of farting. Like what, what percentage is it appropriate to fart in certain situations at a movie theater? What percentage of time is it appropriate to fart? And, you know, at the bar at a fucking, you know, and just the fact that work. a well-timed fart can change the, the world. <laughs> I watched, um, well time for yes, and then one hundred percent of the time, I know with the boys. You end it with that. One hundred percent of the time, I know with the boys. That's the best time to fart. You're always gonna laugh. Farts always, always. are funny. Always. I watched Funny People recently. Yeah. Judd Apatow production with Adam Sandler, where he's a dying comedian. Mm -hmm. The first hour of that movie is so good. Yeah, he's so funny and mean and like well acted, and all the bits are funny. And Jason Wright, uh, Jason Schwartzman, and Jonah Hill are so funny. And the moment he goes to San Francisco to be with, you know, the chick, the movie's god awful. Yeah, uh, <sighs> god awful. The last hour was terrible, but the first hour is so fucking good. But the but last the scene is great. The last, the where it ends is really good in that it's him going back. To see again. Seth. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice moment. But Adam Sandler, man, he crushes that film. But there's a scene where he's making fun of Seth Rogen. He's like, "All oh, your bits are about fucking farts and jerking off." He's like, "Do you ever want to get laid?" Yeah. He's like, "Do you think some chicks are just gonna come up to you and be like, oh, could you just jerk off in my on me and fart in my face?'" <laughs> and I think it's so funny. Oh, could you just jerk off on me and fart in my face? Like, no. So you guys should think about that. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm, I I believe in this bit. I believe in no, this bit. Good. It's a funny bit. It's got legs. You want to get laid? Uh, I have another one here. Talk about cool stuff. I remember, so it reminded me, Terry, of I, I posted something on Facebook and Twitter years ago where I said something along the lines of I respect dudes that just rip farts at the urinal. Mm -hmm. And you commented on it. It was like, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> this is like, this is <laughs> That's like great. 10 years ago. I, I, 
I got mad respect for dudes just rip farts at the urinal. Like, because I do. I still do this day. Like, I do. You stand up to the urinal and you just piss in a way. Like, people are nervous already, like, for some reason. And you're just, like, letting it go. And you're not, you don't look around. Yeah, you should. Nice. Nice. If you're, yeah, if you're if your dick's out and you're pissing in a trough at a sports game and fart, peak. Yes. Peak. So when I was at Charles Gambino, it was at the uh, the Barclays Center where the Nets play, right? Yeah. And I did that, and I just fucking stepped up. But it was a different crowd, man. It was a sports crowd. I stepped up, I'm pissing, and I, I ripped ass. Just <laughs> loud <Huh>? toot. <laughs> loud Let it go. toot. Let it go. And then just, I didn't look around, but nobody said anything. And I was just like, oh, different crowd. All right. Different crowd. Billy just shook No it high out. fives. Nobody high fived me. No, no emotional high fives either. I wanted to, I wanted to hear like one, like, nice dude. High five, by the way, high fives at the pissing trough is a, is a flex. <laughs> yeah, they ain't going to do that. They can do that. So, all right, I got I got one more. You ever start dating a girl and all her friends come up to you and say, if you hurt her, I'll kill you or something like that? We all have. Oh, yeah. And my response is, what are you going to do, waitress me to death? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have combat <laughs> skills. But you're not, you not going to put arsenic in my food. This is what you do. So, how? How? Yeah. Nobody's touching that? What are you against waitresses, man? Huh? I don't know if I can go there. Okay. The next, is, uh, you, have you seen I the... Have, I have more to that. Please continue. Not all waitresses have sleeve tattoos, but everybody with a sleeve tattoo is a waitress. It's a waitress. <laughs> nice. That's pretty good. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, shit. <laughs> that one's good. Yeah, that could work. Or you could. Not every. No, it would actually. Would it be funnier if you just said bartender at the end of that? Not every waitress have a sleep has a sleep tattoo, but everyone that does is a bartender. Is a bartender. <laughs> If we just switched it like that. Like, yeah. Not all That's meth definitely. heads are bartenders, but everyone who does meth is also a bartender. Nah, no. It was funnier the way it was. Well, that's, every the, that's the bit. The bit is not all blanks have blanks, but everybody with blanks is a blank. Is a blank. Yeah. Fill in whatever you like. Not but every all... bartender with has the sleeve tattoo. Not all life coaches are crazy, but all crazy people are life coaches. Uh-oh. That's concerning. Not too many people will be able to, like, laugh at that, though. But the bartender and waitress thing, yes, there's a lot of people that can – there's there's a wide audience there. Yeah. Including the waitresses. Right. They're wide. This guy. There's this TikTok trend that's pretty funny. They go, guess my fart, and you have your significant other make a fart noise with their mouth. Right. And they only post the ones that, like, match up exactly with the fart. <laughs> so that you have your, you know, partner go, and then you fart to see if it matches the noise they make. And it, I saw this trend, and one, I wanted a girlfriend so badly. I was like, this is why I, I need a girlfriend. <laughs> so I can play this game. This is why. <laughs> Immediately, I was like, I got to get a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So I can have someone guess my farts. And then they had a compilation of, like, people nailing it, like, guessing it absolutely right. With, it's so funny. Yeah, no and fart they, is the same. They all freak out, too, when no they, like, the the matches. Everyone is like, whoa. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> How do they even play that? A bunch of people get recorded farting, and then you play them back, and you have to identify which ones is yours? No, oh, it's a TikTok. Ready? Here. Me and Cole hey. acted out. Cole's my girlfriend, right? I go, hey, guess my fart. 
Okay. And then there's a and sound. Make a fart noise. Oh, his I make mouth. Fart. Yeah. <laughs> guess my fart. And then I actually fart. And we try to. Oh, it's like mind oh. melting. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, so the, all right. So, okay. Just my you fart. You try to see if it's really right. And then there's these compilation videos where the, the gas is be, spot be better, on. To be fart. Better, better with siblings doing it. You can do it to anybody. It just made me want to have a girl. You can do it to anybody. You can do it to anybody, really. There's no rules to this sort of thing. Yeah. Well, fuck TikTok. And uh, yeah, let's play a game. Party is awesome. Let's play a game. Over or under Zach's been handcuffed to this rail. Yes or no? I mean, Over signs under. point to yes. <laughs> I'm going to say no. happy about it. Well, I'm not going to tell you. I just want to know what you guys think. Guess my guess my fart. Oh my <laughs> god! That was a muffled because it would have been so much better if it wasn't under the blanket. You're under the blanket. That was a perfect fart noise. That was really good. I don't know how Luke lays like this for an hour. It's crazy. It's also way too well, sexual. With no shirt on. I uh, I gotta go. Yeah, we went for I, a while. Yeah. Okay, I'm going back to bed. All right, love you guys. I'm going back to work. That was cool, man. Enjoy your weekends. Enjoy football in America on a Sunday. Football, football. Bam, 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 bam. And then let's send each other voice messages of our farts. Okay, have a I fart gasm. I could do that. I got a fart brewing right now. I look forward to hearing it digitally. Peace. I love you. Love you guys, love you guys too. Adios, amigos. Young John!